Going live, going live. Listen to Cassie, hold on. <laughs> Sound like somebody's mama. I'm telling you, this little one has bark. <laughs> Sound like somebody's mama up in this thing. <laughs> Pupu, give me some of your juice. Get daddy some juice. Daddy thirsty real quick. I'm about to go live. Get daddy some juice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what is this, grapes? Child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Mm. Going down. Shit, we already started that fire. Mm. Shit. What's up, baby? You know, it's your boy, Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder. Here to answer a couple of questions. Someone's new in walkout song. Is. My walkout song? Oh, man. My walkout song is gonna be crazy. Um, I got a great, I got a, I got a great um, tribute that I put together. Um, I got the artist by D Smoke. He's gonna be performing for me. If y'all know D Smoke, cold artist, you know what I'm saying, my guy. And uh, I'm gonna let him do this uh, with me with a uh, tribute to a, a, a lot of men and women that paved the way for me. You know what I'm saying? I paved the way for a lot of us. You know, although this is Black History Month as well, too. So uh, it's going to be a great event. You know, I try to do a lot of things where people can come, especially paying customers, the consumers, whether you at home or whether you going to be at the arena. You know, I try to do things where, you know, y'all can take from it, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning to the end. So it's going to be amazing. You know, you don't want to miss the walkout entrance. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like you never seen before. This I promise. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Anthony Durrell's in the chat. He says, "Bomb Squad." And Durrell, what's up, baby? Bomb Squad. Someone wants to know why you're heavier this time around. Why I'm heavier this time around? Um, you know, it's just I don't know. My body is so weird. You know what I'm saying? It's just like sometimes, like I can gain weight, then I can lose it again, then I lose it. Like my body is crazy, you know. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it, but t this time around, I came in at 231. You know, I came in to play no games. You know, what I'm saying this is gonna be an early knockout for sure. And uh, you know, you got the Fury fans. They came drunk, drunk and happy, but they going home sober and sad, baby. <laughs> what round you knocking Tyson Fury out in? Round I'm knocking Tyson Fury out in, man. You know, I never been good at predictions, but I can guarantee you. You know, he's talking about he coming to knock me out in the second round. And I'm saying I'm getting him out early as well. So with both of us combined together, we talking about an early night. So if you got some plans for partying or whatever, shit, it, it, you're going to get that. I'll be at the Mandalay Bay at the light nightclub after the party. I invited Fury to come as well, too. We'll see if he show up, though. It depends on how 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 is I feel at the end of the night. <laughs> but, uh. Supposed to party over at uh, what he partying at? Where, uh, I forget what it is. One of the, one of the other clubs. Dre's? No, it wasn't Dre's. I forget. I'll figure it out. Uh, XS. No, wasn't that? Wasn't you going to the strip joint? Mm. No, it's one of the big clubs. Uh, <laughs> what do you think see. about the crowd at the weigh-in? What I thought about the crowd at the weigh-in, um, I thought it was a great crowd. You know, um, it was a lot of Brits there, um, as expected. You know, and uh, it was it was a good vibe. It was a good aura. It was a good energy up in the building, and that's what I look for. You know, I'm a positive person that come with a lot of positive energy, positive speaking, and positive believing. And with that being said, it's always equal positive results. So you know, the crowd was amazing. And I appreciate everybody that attended the crowd that t that attended the uh, weigh in, and I uh, appreciate the people that tune in, you know, on TV to watch it as well. This is what we're talking about. This is man. This is. Heavyweight boxing right here. This is what we've been looking for. This is what we've been waiting on. And uh, I'm glad that it's, it's finally coming. And I'm glad that it's finally here. I'm going to give y'all a great event. What do you think about Tyson coming in heavier? Tyson came in at 270. What he came in? 272? 3? 273. 273. I don't know what Big Mama doing. Big Mama. I don't know what Big Bird think he doing. He think, I guess he he's... He gaining weight to, to, I guess, to sit on me or whatever, to weigh on me, to try to tire me down or whatever, but it ain't going to be that. As you can see, you see his hands was like this when he was moving. He was nervous. That's nervous energy, and uh, I'm looking forward to the fight. Was it, are you planning on hitting his body more to slow his fat ass down from running? 
I'm definitely planning on hitting that body to slow that fat ass down. That's for sure. Big Mama is going to slow down. You know what I'm saying? That's why he ain't take off his shirt. He, he got, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he had a bra on. Did you see it? <laughs> but it's going to be fun while it lasts. You know, him, uh, all my all my opponents always have outweighed me. Um, I probably outweighed maybe four opponents in my whole career. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Big Mama, Big Mama become as fat as he want. That ain't going to help him. Um, he going to stay down this time. I told him, you know, the only thing I believe in Fury is what he said. He said you got to nail him to his coffin. And I believe in that. That's why I brought these six feet inch nails and a big ass hammer from Alabama. I'm bang, bang, banging them and no homo. Someone wants to know who would be next after Fury. Who's next after Fury? Uh, not sure yet. You know, I'm, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking past him. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely looking through him and what I see, I, I don't see I don't see nothing yet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right now my, my my total focus is on, on this fight. It's a big event. And um I just wanna showcase my, my greatness. I always say it and I always will say it for a reminder, not only for myself, but for everyone that's watching, everyone that's tuning in, everyone that's following, that we all are great as human beings. We all have greatness in us. But greatness is only determined by service. So apply that service to your life each and every day. Ace Cat says, Big Mama gonna kick your little chicken leg. <laughs> Big Mama, Big Mama gonna kick my chicken leg. Well, you know what I mean? I do have small legs, and you know what I mean? I take it wholeheartedly. I, I, I accept that, that I have. But Fury got small legs, too. And... Do you, and and I'd rather be I'd rather be skinny with skinny legs than be big with small legs like Fury. You know what I'm saying? So he always talking about my legs, and, but uh, he is small as well. But the thing about it, I generate a lot of power with these legs. Let me know about that uh, paper. And um, if you can't make it to the arena, go in my bio, click that link. That's where you can get your pay per view as well. If anyone's out, anyone out there. Wondering where to get pay per view or where to buy it, go to my page. It's up in my bio. Click the link and you'll be served, baby. I'm looking forward to everyone tuning into the fight. I'm looking forward to a, a, a sold out arena. And right now, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. You know, all that's going to be there, all that's going to be buying it. And um, thank you for all the prayers that's been lifted as well, too. Yeah, a few people in the chat asking for a big bomb squad. Y'all yeah, want that? Where my bomb squad people at, though, baby? Let's go. One, two, three. Bomb squad! <laughs> Let's go. 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 let us go 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 yeah, the final countdown, the 24 hours. Yep. And I um, can't wait. I also said to Keith Sean that you and I have been talking about being in his future. Yeah. So great. He's going to the limp. That's the one yeah. going to Tokyo. Yeah, yeah we'll be there. Yeah. We'll be there. I'll be right back. Yeah, baby. Someone wants to know if you ever give uh, Andy Ruiz a shot. Will I ever get Andy Ruiz a shot? I mean... Exactly. You know what I mean, y'all heard my, my manager. I mean, I'm going to run out of opponents eventually, and uh, we're going to be needing somebody to beat up on. So, as long as Andy Ruiz stay in shape and uh, come back to reality, because I think after that, that Joshua fight, he lost he lost some type of hunger, you know, for the sport or whatever. When you come from that and then you obtain millions, and then you start doing things that you never could do before in your life, you know what I'm saying? I think that took him away from... Um, from the structure, from from just really just uh, dedicate himself to boxing. So hopefully he come back, you know, and I hope he don't have to come back when the money run out because think about it, you know, small numbers add up to big numbers and that will get people, you know. So hopefully, Andy, you're listening, get your ass back in the gym, bro. Shit, that money going to run out, bro. Stop, you know, I ain't going to tell you what a grown man to do with their money, but, you know what I'm saying, Bro, if you're going to spend it, invest in something, some property, some some real estate land or whatever, you know what I'm saying, invest it, and then come on back, man. Um, what, can you, what, do you, uh, what can you say about your outfit for five nights? My outfit, 
you know, I already described a little bit, but my outfit is going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming in. I'm coming, I'm coming in all black everything. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be amazing. Um, if you're going to be watching it on TV, man, you ain't gonna, it ain't going to do you no justice to see this uniform that I'm about to bring out. Like, I'm, re- I'm, I'm changing the game, period. I'm changing the game, period. And y'all hear you mark my words. I'm changing the game, period. And the ones that's going to be in the arena... To be able to witness for their eyes, it's going to be in for a treat. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you never, ever, ever, ever have seen before, and you probably never see it again. I'm the originator of this, and it's going to be amazing. So I'm looking forward to the to the ring walk, and I'm very excited, so you guys should be too. Trust me. When I say I promise, you already know what I mean. I'm a man of my word. This this, this outfit I'm finna wear, killing the game. Someone asked about uh, Curtis Shields and Layla Ali going back. Carissa Shea, Layla Ali going back and forth, yo. <laughs> I mean, who y'all guys got on that? Carissa Shea, Layla, uh, Layla Ali. I, I heard Layla said she's coming out of retirement uh, to fight. What? How old Layla is? 40? 42? 42? What y'all think about that, man? You know what I'm saying? 42, coming back. You think she still got it or not? I mean, either way it go, if they, if they put that fight together... You can you can best be, believe your boy gonna be at that at that fight for sure. Let me see. Let me see what we got. Leaving comments, less questions and more comments. Let me see. What else we got? Um, five five five. It's five five five. That's my salad. Bring that over here. These questions coming in crazy. Oh, you gotta cut it off. Where my dressing up? It, I'm coming. I'm coming. Did they get extra? Yes, sir. Okay. But it ain't cold though, huh? No. No, I'm talking about that water. I mean that juice, that 180. No. no. Uh, yes, please. What we got, Ryan? Let's talk to some haters. Let's talk to some haters. My man Ryan said, "Let's talk to some haters. Let's see what we got. Some haters in here. We gotta, we gotta." Respond to the haters too, man, because I appreciate y'all too, man. Y'all came a long way with me, you know. What I mean, we've traveled the journey together, so I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay tribute to my haters. Y'all always gonna be haters. I need that, you know. what I'm saying all the haters was up at the at the weigh-ins today, you know, screaming and yelling. Like I said, you're gonna be sad going home. Anthony Shane says, "I think you're a great fighter, but you have no chance against Tyson. He's going to ruin you." He said. He think I'm a great fighter, but I have no chance. And Tyson's going to ruin me. Tyson's, Tyson's going to ruin me. Well, you know, we are in Vegas, and uh, the better lines is up. So, you know, go put your money where your mouth is. You know, if anyone out here thinking Fury's going to beat me, anyone out here thinking Fury's going to beat me, is something in there? Is there something in there? No? Uh Anyone out here thinking Fury's going to beat me, you know, go put your, go put your money, money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm very confident in what I'm coming to do come tomorrow and I'm going to knock him out and this time he ain't getting up I promise you that you know dude already scared he's nervous as shit he got a lot of ner- no no you can put that protein back up yeah yeah he got a lot of nervous energy you know I can, I can, I can sense it and um, it's going to be good it's a new me it's a different Deontay and um, I'm coming I'm coming to do what I, what I do all the time and knock motherfuckers out period Says, stop running from AJ. You'll get spanked. Yeah, stop running from AJ. I'll get spanked. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Tell you, uh, I ain't going to even comment on that one, man. Dude, 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 I ain't even talked about over here no more. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, he off in the wind right now. And uh, as he should, because he don't want to fight nobody, bro. Not a question, but a comment. Someone says, how can people hate this guy? He knocks everybody out. Man. Right? You gotta love. You gotta love a knockout artist. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody could could hate on somebody. Oh yeah, put that on there. You know what I'm saying? This is this meal. My, you know what I'm saying? Put that on there. Yeah, put that on there. You know what I'm saying? I came in two thirty one. I'm trying to keep that weight up. Trying to keep that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got a lot of people around me right now. They serving the king like he's supposed to be served. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, y'all. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh. I like your hair. I know You ain't got a whisper. Oh, I got a girl. Oh, who she is? She might be able to hook you up. Oh, you got a girl that got a girl that got a girlfriend? 
My girl yeah, got a girlfriend. There's that girl and that girl. Don't, that girl. Let <laughs> Don't let him fool y'all. Don't let him fool y'all. A room full of women, bro. Someone says, uh, why would you take this risk, meaning fighting period? You don't need this fight. Uh, you call the shots. Why would I take this risk? Why, why, why I'm taking this risk to fight Fury is uh, because, you know, the first fight we left off in a, a controversial decision. So you can't just leave a controversial fight just just like that, up in thin hair like that. I mean, it must be a winner and it must be a loser. And um, I'm coming back again. A lot of people didn't think I was going to do the rematch again. You know, many people express their opinions about that. But anybody that know Deontay Wilder know I'm a warrior, man. I got a warrior heart, a warrior mindset. You know what I'm saying? And I had to do it again for the people. You know, me and Fury is one of the, the best, two best in the world, and we had to do it again. I don't think he wanted that rematch, though, because he didn't. I got, you know, he didn't want this rematch. He tried to run away from it, but he couldn't at the end of the day because of a lot of, shit, a lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? That I don't want to share with you guys right now. But uh, I wanted to risk. I mean, a lot of people thought um, fighting Luis Ortiz again was a risk, right? But uh, a lot of people were scared. Even a lot of people on my team were scared. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a risk factor. We knew we had to um, fury fight again. But that's just that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? I want to leave my legacy. I want to leave a stamp on the game. And the only way to leave a stamp is to fight the best and take risks. And that's what all I've that's that's all I've been doing, man. Just trying to take risks and, and leave my stamp in the game. It's a lot. It's been a lot of ups and downs in boxing. A lot of people ask me, well, why, 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 have, why haven't you unified? I mean, that's simple. That's simple question to ask. Why haven't I unified? Let's think about it. Why haven't I unified yet? It's easy because I haven't got the opportunity. Like all these other guys, I ain't, I haven't gotten the opportunity because all the other guys, all the other champions that had belts, what they do, they run somewhere else, they run to an easier opponent to risk it for. You know what I'm saying? When you got a guy with power coming in a heavyweight division and the division is based off power, I'm going to be the least guy that they want to fight. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of jugheads that call my name out and shit like that, but they ain't trying to fight, man. So uh, hopefully we have one champion, one face, one name in the heavyweight division. And um, I only have five more years, five and a half years to be exact. And Deontay Wilder is out of this month. So give me my roses right now. You can go to your local grocery store. If you're going to be at this fight, go to your local grocery store, buy some roses. So when I knock fear out, just throw them things in the ring, baby. I want to <laughs> smell them. Speaking of uh, having five and a half years left, someone wants to know what, uh, what you plan to do when you retire. When I when when I retire, uh, what I what I'm planning on doing when I retire is uh, is I'm going straight to acting. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, I've been talking to some people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be good, you know. And um, I think I'm going to acting is a passion of mine, and um, that's what I'll be doing. I got a lot of other different things going on outside of boxing, you know, um, that I've been working on. I don't really be on social media a lot because I'm always busy. You know what I'm saying? I got eight kids, so I got to keep it going. You know, I got a full, I got a full fleet. I want four more, maybe three, uh, three by my girl. And maybe I want to adopt one, maybe. I'm thinking about adopting a child as well. That means I have 12 of them. I'm a true king, man. I want 12 children. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think gold or silver? Too? Sil silver would be the best. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next question. Someone says, how do you prepare yourself to knock someone out mentally? What's the mentality? Going how do you prepare yourself to knock someone out? I mean, first you got to be, to knock someone out, you got to have a, a cold heart. You got to be ruthless. You know what I'm saying? And I say you got to be ruthless because when you knock a person out, you don't know what their body is going to, what, what type of move your, their body is going to be performing. You know, so sometimes you knock guys out, they just fall straight down. Sometimes they go into a seizure. Sometimes their tongue go in the back of their throat. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be be prepared to to witness what you're about to see. You know what I mean? You got to be you got to be prepared to 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 be able to have a stomach, you know, to hold what you're about to see. I I've been doing it for 12 years, and um, you know, so I'm used to it. Like when you do something over and over and over again, you just used to getting you get used to seeing it. And when I hit guys and I see them knock out, you know, it's a great feeling for me. And um, as we know, 
I don't get paid for overtime. Let's go, baby. Any new tricks to show these haters the skills? New tricks to show the haters some skills. Now, this is going to be a knockout. This is going to be... We going in for the kill. He said he coming in the second round trying to kill him. I'm going in the same thing for the kill. Um, Tyson says he's, he's coming in for the knockout second round. What do you think he's actually going to do in the fight? I think Tyson... Tyson said he's coming in for the knockout, but I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I always talk about speaking things in existence, believing it is going to happen, and it will come to you. But the, the the magic of speaking, believing, and receiving is the belief. You must believe in what you're saying to receive it in the end. If you don't believe, it's not going to manifest. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to manifest in life if you don't believe it's going to happen. You can say anything you want all day long. But if you don't really believe, belief is a small word, but it's, 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 it's powerful. It's a powerful element once you unlock it. And you must believe it in your heart, and it will work for you. And the thing about that is also come with patience. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we can say things, and it don't manifest right away. Because, you know what I'm saying? And, and, but, but the thing about it, it it's going to come. It's just like the Bible says, it may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. And that's the thing, we have to stay patient when we speak things and we believe it. And as humans, we want things to come right now. We need it right now, right now. At least that's what we think. But, you know, to have a, to, to, to have a testimony, you must first go through a great test. And when you have the test, then you have the testimony. That's why I say test the money. You know what I'm saying? So uh, continue to keep speaking things in your life and um, believe that it's going to happen and watch it manifest for you. It may be weeks. It may be months. It may be years. But know that it's going to happen. A lot of things happen to us that we don't even know sometimes because we speak it. We spoke it before and it came to pass at a certain time in our life. And then we always try to for, find somebody to point to point and blame instead of our own self. Someone wants to know what the, your favorite dish was that your grandma and your mother made growing up. My favorite dish my grandmother and my mother made growing up. Uh... Jesus, I, my, my grandma used to make a, a chicken and dumpling, chicken and dumpling, that used to be amazing, with peppermint tea, child, ooh, chicken and dumpling with peppermint tea, you already know, that's some southern type of shit, <laughs> and it, it was amazing, my mom, she always used to try to make spaghetti and shit like that or whatever, something that'll last longer, you know what I'm saying, you get you a little leftover, get some spaghetti and, and stuff like that. But um, I, I grew up in a family of great cooks, though. You know, my moms, my auntie, all those different guys and stuff like that. And all that. Somebody said Dylan White won't smoke. First off, we got to tell Dylan White, where your beef sample at? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Someone wants to know, if you win and surpass Muhammad Ali's no, record of title defenses, what uh, would you think of yourself as the greatest heavyweight ever? If I, when I win and pass Muhammad Ali, with the with the consecutive title wins, they say, "Would I think I'm greater?" Uh, um, yeah, do you think you'd be the greatest of all time? Once I pass Muhammad Ali in the second ring, and, and um, with my eleven title defenses, um, I, st I I still got work to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna feel like I'm just gonna feel like who I am now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a um, a living legend, and um, and uh, once I retire. All that a play come and play, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, to become a legend, you, of course, you have to go through your journey and uh, get to a certain point in your in your career, and then retire, and then let everything fall fall as it may. And um, I think once my career over with, that um, I will I will get the recognition of becoming a be a, being a legend, you know, in this sport and, and doing and by the things that I've done thus far. You know what I'm saying? Especially knocking guys out for, for 12 years. I've been knocking guys out for 12 years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't counting that. I ain't counting the, the times being young in the, in, the, in the park. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about for real making money, 12 years making money, knocking people out. So, yeah. Someone wants to know what kind of watch you're wearing. Watch I'm wearing. I'm going to let y'all check it out for yourself. Let me see. What we got? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a WBC. Pablo, you said. 
I got a lot of watches. I invest in in watches and stuff. I like I like to spend my money on things that that um that I can somewhat get some money back off of. You know, um, a lot of things that I get, I put away um, for the kids to be able to you know have you know just say if I'm I'm say something happened to me that'll be valuable for them as well. So when I do things, not only I think about myself, but I I think about my family. I think about the people that's around me. You know, you know, I don't, I don't I don't spend money just to spend it. That's just not of me. That's not my personality. That's not the character of me. I spend to knowing that I can get some type of money back from it or or, or, or something like that. Let's see two more questions. Two more questions. We're going to get two more questions. Give me two more. Oh, no, 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 I'm all right. Uh, someone says, describe growing up in, Al- in Alabama in one word. Describe growing up in Alabama in one word. Jeez. I can only speak for self and how I grew up. It was, it was, it was cool. I say cool. It could have been a lot better. <laughs> we ain't had too much shit to do. But to fight and get in trouble, and then as 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 young boys, you know, we always found we always found our fun. And sometimes when we find fun, it's not the right type of fun we got into. Many times, me and my cousins and my brothers, we look, we reflect on the past, and we always talk about what we did. Especially with me, because you know, we all have secrets. We all have skeletons in the closet, things that we did that nobody never know, and probably nobody ever know in life. But, you know, when I reflect on my life and the certain things that I've done in life, I just, like, I thank God all the time for, for allowing me to escape certain situations and, and to become the man that I am now. Because if you knew me back then, anybody that know me coming from Alabama, you know what I'm saying, know about her, about Deontay Wilder. You know, he wasn't nobody to play with from the get-go. You know what I'm saying? And that's my demeanor. That's why I am now. But as a person now, as a man now, I'm just so laid back. I'm a homebody. I don't really go nowhere. That's why y'all don't hear nothing about me. You know, I got a happy life, man. I'm, I'm happy with my, my life. I'm happy with my family. I'm at peace. I'm stress-free. I'm drama-free. You know what I'm saying? I got eight kids, four baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? But we're one white, and we good. We all good. We all happy family. That's how it should be, man. None of that drama and stuff like that. It took a long time, though. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get to a certain place, you know, people still want to be with you and stuff like that. And they're just hard to let you go, especially when they have a child by you. And I understand that. But for me, you know, I love to treat everyone with respect, even my kids' moms. You know what I'm saying? Treat them with respect. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always a time where you can come to compromising on things. And it's always about the kids. And I'm all about the kids at the end of the day. So, you know, I would love a point in time where everyone just just can be happy under one roof. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talk about no sister wives either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Um, last one, babe. You gotta go. How do you think that uh, the cut that Fury got in his last fight will come into play in this fight? The cut that Fury got in the last fight is gonna play a big factor in this fight. Um, I heard it got recut. I heard it got reopened in sparring. That's why he was wearing the hoodie and the and the shades at the at the press conference. And um if I cut that thing open again, it's gonna be a ma- it's gonna be a mess. And we're gonna see what happens after that, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully it don't open, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want this fight to stop. I want people to get their full their full full view and, and their money worth for this fight. And um I want it to last all the way until I knock him out on the canvas and we see what he does when he hit the canvas this time. What his body does, because we know we've seen his eyes rolling in the back of his head. We've seen his veins pulsing from his neck. And we see his body stretched out over the canvas like a murder scene, baby. And I just walked away, started blowing, kissing and everything. This mo- this big bird, this big mama rose from the dead. But I told him I was going to baptize him. I told him he was going to go timber. And um, I baptized him. And anybody know about a baptism, they always rise back up. But this time around, it ain't going to be that. But uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, yeah, it's all that, almost that time. Tomorrow is going down. The wait is over. 24 hours, here we come. Like I said, if you can't make it to this fight, click that button. The, uh, the link is in my bio. Go to it right now. And go on to get that thing ready and get started. Go on to have y'all parties. It's, it's a time where we can celebrate. We can, we can, we can, 
we can be happy. We got heavyweight boxing. It's about to happen. This is big time boxing. And when the heavyweight division is 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 happy, the whole division is, baby. And I'm looking forward to giving you guys a knockout to all my bomb squad people. To my to this day, to this day, to this day. Y'all already know. I can't wait. I see you guys soon. Until then, love, peace, and God bless. And be safe out there, especially if you're in Vegas. Vegas, be safe. Safe travels. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.